Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and in the last video, we went over how to do your uh, speed and size masters for your show file. If you're curious on how to do that, I highly recommend checking that out. Uh, it's pretty useful, and in this video, we are going to be going over how to use executors and uh, the fader playback, which we touched on a little bit in the last video. But in this video, we're going to go more in depth with it. So let's, uh, let, yeah, let's let's add some executors here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click in a empty pool or page, I guess. We're going to go to playbacks and we're going to add action buttons. Okay, and uh, these buttons are really great for um, quick calling cues or positions. So like you you can put cues in here or cue stacks, and you can fire them the same as you would if they were you know down here on your faders or whatever. So we'll make a selection and let's say, let's do, um, yeah, let's, let's do our movements. Let's do, uh, we, we'll just use these two for an example. Okay. So we'll go, uh, or we can use, yeah, just these two, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go ahead and we made our selection. We're going to hit store we'll do that one. And we'll go here and we'll store. Okay. And then it's always good to label. So odd all in. And odd all out. Okay. Uh, now we can enable our direct playback. And if we bring the intensity up, if we select these. You can see that it is bringing, or it, it's calling our positions. Okay. And you can put fade times on these and everything. Uh, if we go into here and edit the queue, you know, we can give it like a, you know, a three second fade to make it look nice. And we can do it on both. And now, theoretically, whenever I click these, it should, yeah, it's a little nicer. And you can see here that they are disabling as the other one gets selected. And the reason behind that is because in here, in the position pool, right, we have a pan and tilt value recorded. Well, since this new uh, executor is calling up new values for it, the MA software recognizes that and goes, okay, well, you're overriding it with these new values. So you don't need this one on anymore. So it will, you know, it keeps the show file nice and clean. And of course, um, we can make these uh, color coded and whatnot to um, be easier to see. You know, you go up to uh, where's uh, label or sign, sign, assign, assign, and you get appearance, click. And then I don't know, let's do pink, please. And then sign, sign, sign. Go here again. Oh, now you have uh, position presets, um, which are pretty awesome. You can also go into, uh, if you click on the header here, uh, and then you see where it says go, you can click that. You can actually change what the button does. You know, you can have it flash, you can have it flash on, you have, you have it uh, flash go, back go, et cetera, right? Um, what you're gonna be using a lot here is probably either go, flash, temp or toggle and there's different scenarios for each one which we will get into in the future um, or you can just you know make it empty say that you made a uh, too wide um, cell here which you can do if we go into here and say width well now you have two buttons so you can say hey I want this one to be empty not do anything pretty cool you can make these as wide as you want really <laughs> uh, which is pretty awesome uh, I actually didn't know that for the longest time and I was curious. So yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you change the width. Uh, if you want some buttons to be, you have like a very essential executor on here. Uh, you can make it a little bigger so you don't accidentally miss it for whatever reason. Uh, so yeah, so executors can be used with uh, really anything that you can call up. Uh, so you can use your, your colors. You can even put effects in here. Gobos, uh, you know, zoom sizes, beams, prisms, everything. You can even like, you know, put dim values in here. So if I wanted like a, if I went to my all group, right? And I said full, full, and then store that to here. And then I said um, at zero and then store that here. And then of course we'll label. So we'll say all full. And we'll say all zero. Well, now, if we click this, turns on all my lights, take it out, does that. 
Uh, and then we can go into fade time and give it like a two second fade time and make it all nice and pretty. Very good, clear. All fold, dims on, all zero, fades off. And there you go. Pretty neat, right? So those are executors. Um, faders are basically the same thing, but you have an actual fader. So instead of doing something like this, uh, we'll actually off this and uh, we can leave this one on. Uh, what's great about this is this is not stored in your program anymore. So uh, if you go through and clear and then I bring on my lights, you can see they're in the same spot, uh, right? So, you know, I can off this again and then I can change the position of the lights. And then when I bring them back on, you see they're in a new spot. And even if I hit clear, it won't clear out, which is perfect for your show. Uh, so we can actually leave that like that. So now let's do uh, faders. So um, the most basic you know, thing to do with the fader is to select your group, full, full, store, and on a fader. All right, hit clear. And now we can drag this intensity if it wants to, there it goes. Yep, so now you have your intensity on a fader. And of course you can click on the header here again, and we can change this to like a flash or something, right? So now, you know, you have control of the fader, or if you want, you can just bump it and you can just flash, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so, and you have a few other options here. Uh, you'll pretty much be using master or temp fader. Uh, temp fader, so master, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. You have a value from zero to a hundred and, um, you know, for this, like it's the master intensity for that fader. So, you know, yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this. It's, it does the zero to a hundred thing and it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, Temp fader is good for like blending stuff together. So uh, say you had something active and it's not going to work for this. Uh, but say like, uh, oh, you know what would be good for a temp fader? What if we brought in like um, the color red or something like that? So we'll actually we'll put this back to uh, a go and whoops, I want to make this a master. And we will say, uh, master and cool. And again, this is also not a part of the programmer. So even if I bring that all the way up and hit clear a bunch of times, it will not clear it out because you're not in the programmer at this point. Um, all right. Anyways, so let's, let's, uh, show you what a temp fader is. So let's grab our selection here. Let's do one white and we'll store that here and one red and we'll store that. Okay, um, maybe not white. Maybe we'll do um, do blue, and we'll store, and we will uh, overwrite. Cool. So we'll name this one blue, and this one can be red. Okay, and now if we go into here, uh, that doesn't matter. We'll go into temp fader. We'll make both of these a temp fader. If I bring up my intensity and clear my programmer, you can see if I bring up this temp fader, it's going to fade in the color blue, right? Same thing with the color red. If you were to use the master, it would just snap zero to a hundred. Um, so that's what a temp fader is good for. And we used the temp faders in the last video we did uh, to make our size masters. Um, so I can just see, like I can just drag this up and this is a temp fader and it will slowly get bigger and bigger and bigger until we're at 100%. And yeah, we can bring the, this is the speed for it. Yeah, we can bring the speed up too. Which is pretty nifty. Um, yeah, I hope I didn't confuse any of y'all and I hope I uh, helped y'all <laughs> somewhat with this process. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment them down below. Uh, I will be more than willing to help answer questions on topics that I may have missed. Uh, or if you're curious about something else, uh, you can comment down below and uh, I can respond back to you and probably make another video off of it. 
since uh, I'm I need some more ideas for uh, tutorials. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one.